Good day, teachers. There are two problems you have to overcome if you want to make your own draggable items in Google Slides and use them on a smart board or a view board with your students. The first problem is dragging doesn't work in presentation mode. So you go to the slides to show view here and you lose your things that are off the side. Or even if you get them on your screen, um, you can't pick them up and move them around. And the second problem is that when you make text boxes and you want students to drag, um, they can be challenging for students, especially younger, younger learners, to drag. Sometimes they get tilted or they get pulled out of shape or they get changed. I'm going to show you solutions to both of those problems right now. First, let's fix those text boxes. Since images are easy to drag and text boxes aren't, we're going to turn our text boxes into images in order to make them more easily draggable for students on your smart board or your view board. And so if you're on your Chromebook, you can use the screenshot tool. I am on my laptop here, so I am going to use the snipping tool to do this, to turn my text box into an image. But I'm just going to launch the snipping tool. Take a little picture of my word and paste it onto my document here. And so I'm going to move that off to the side. And once I do that, I'm going to actually delete this so I don't get confused on which is the image and which is the text box. The image, really easy to drag around. OK, we're ready to solve problem number two, which is about using draggables in that presentation mode. And we're going to solve that problem with an extension from the Chrome Web Store. It's called Full Screen Interactive Google Slides. That's what the icon looks like right there. You're going to go to the Chrome Web Store and get that. And when you install it into your Chrome browser, then you want to click that blue pin to pin it to your bar up here so it's easily accessible. All right, a couple things you want to do before you press the button. You want to make your speaker notes go away because that's actually taking up a lot of screen space. So you can do that here or you can just drag that box that box down at the bottom. And we want to just check our views in a couple of places to make sure our screen resolution is on 100%. So if you go to the three dots and check there for 100%. And then also under the, um, the zoom menu here where the magnifying glass is, you also want to choose 100%. And now when I click this magic button, I'm ready to show this on my view board, other than the title at the top, which stays there. Um, the, it looks really nice on the view board. The kids can come up and pick these items up and drag them where they go. And it looks beautiful and it fills the screen. When you're done with the activity for the day, you want to use escape to get out and you'll notice that my um, film strip view has sort of disappeared over here. If you just click the refresh button, that's going to take you back to the film strip view, which you're used to seeing and let, lets you see everything that's on your screen. Thank you and have a day filled with love and learning. If you need anything at all, see your ITRT.